skip pass, and a three pointer is good for opponent by number 11 on by Sawa. Pass up ahead to Degrenier. Sawa fakes the shot, gets to the basket, and lays it in. No good. Hopkinson really is ice cold from the floor so far in this game. And on the other end, the left the jumper. Opponent ball looking to break. Springfield to the basket for two. Hopkinson with the rebound. And a steal by Springfield. Springfield races to the basket and lays it in. O'Brien finds Hodgson back out to Carlson. O'Brien open look at a three and has the largest lead of the game, 24 to 5. Jump shot. And it's good. Beam. Pull up jump shot and it's good. It's now 26 to 11, opponent leading. Springfield back out to Sawa. Oh, a nice pass by Sawa inside to a right open O'Hearn. Back in the way comes Conant. Carlson, pass inside to Stephen Hopkins. Jump shot, no good by White. Hopkinson controls the offensive board. Back over to White, draws a double team, back out to Beam. At the buzzer, and he hits the three-pointer. Yeah, as we begin the third quarter. Springfield hits a three-pointer. Boy, for a team that doesn't have much size, Conan is sure getting a lot of blocked shots this game. Carlson, wide open, three-pointer, and oh, hits it. Rebound, Carlson, pass up ahead to Sawa. Sawa takes it to the rim, and lays it in. Nice, no good. By McNicholas, he back rimmed it. Back the other way comes Springfield. Brian House style, number 32, gets to the basket. Uses the screen by Eli Hodgson. Back out to Carlin. Hodgson, jump shot, a foot on the line, and it's good. Three pointer, good for Harry Ledger, number 30. Hodgson over to O'Brien. O'Brien hits a three. Opponent has Hopkinson doubled up off a screen. Jump shot is good by Panagodius. By Parasiva. And in transition, it could be a 30 point blowout. Sixty-four to thirty-one. Uh, the final score in Division Three boys basketball. Last game of the regular season between um, Hopkinton and Conant. Uh, Conant gets the win in a blowout. And um, here with our players of the game for for the Orioles, Dan Sawa, um, Devin Springfield, and Jake Carlson. And, and guys, I think going into this game, um, maybe obviously you guys were, were the were the clear favorites, but you got sixteen and one going against fourteen and three. Usually it's a little bit closer than this, um, but Devin, what was the difference for you guys picking up uh, not only a win, but a blowout win over uh, these guys? It was definitely coming out hard. We came out really hard, and our defense was there with three points in the first quarter. I mean, I, all week I was telling everyone it's going to be a good game because everyone wants a good game, but then, I mean, it, it is what it is. I mean, we killed them. And, uh, and Dan, getting the win on senior night, um, you know, you guys had four seniors on the team, but uh, obviously, you know, good to get the win. Were you, were you out there playing with a little bit extra motivation, knowing um, it was your uh, last, not your last home game because you guys got playoffs, but uh, but your senior night? Yeah, yeah, it definitely came out harder than I don't not I want to I don't want to say harder than usual, but it uh, there's definitely a different feeling there because it just feels special, you know, because you know you, d you might not get another game here, but there's in the back of my mind I'm thinking we got two playoff games hopefully coming up home games, so hope we make the best of it. And, and the way the style of play that you guys play, obviously, you know, you guys run, 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 and we're able to get turnovers. Um, what was the key to being able to set that set that tone um, and set that pace? You know, get get them to play your game. Well, they have a game that's a lot like our game. They shoot threes and they run a lot. And that's what coach was saying. All practice and like we play against each other uh, all practice every day, so we know what it's like, and we just. Came like we did, go come to practice and play hard, hard as we can. So, and they just, that's what happened. They just went right into our game, and we just beat them, I guess. Yeah, we definitely tired them out. Yeah, that was that a big was a factor. We t tired out Frankie. We know that we know they didn't have any ball handles other than him. So once we tired him out, they were, they were, they didn't have anyone else. And Jake, talk about the um, the ball move for this team. I mean, you guys put yeah you know, 64 points on the board, but. 
nobody scored more than 10 points. Right. And, you know, just a really, really a balanced uh, scoring effort. Um, you know, you guys really seem to move the ball well and, and play unselfishly as a team. Yeah, that's one of our keys. We try to be unselfish as possible. And coach always says, you know, that we have 12 guys that can play. So whoever he puts in there, we're going to get good stuff out of them. So. Is that hard to instill in a team that, you know, doesn't matter who scores, you know, because so many, so many kids nowadays, they, they just want to score the ball and, and, and kind of do it, do it themselves. And, yeah. you know, but you guys, you know, really, really do play as a team very well. Well, I think that's Kona basketball. Kona basketball has never been just one player dominating. It's always been the whole team. And it's always been defense, too. So, I mean, well, whoever scores, score. score. Yeah. yeah. So we're all going to score. score. Yeah. So. Um, and, and you guys in the backcourt, you know, both uh, juniors on, on senior night with, with, uh, with big games. How long have you guys been playing together? It seems like, you know, talking to you know, Coach Saucier after the game, it seems like yeah. you guys have pretty good chemistry on the court together. And I would say third, fourth third, grade, third, yeah, going yeah. to Boston, playing AAU yeah, against Boston guys. Area. Yeah, he used to be the center on our team. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's just how it was. <laughs> you, you, were, you were the center. Yeah. What happened? I was, I was, I was, what happened was I grew, and then I just never, never. What happened to me? Yeah. Jeez. Well, were you, you, you used to be a forward? In fifth grade, I was like forward, bigger than everybody else. Oh, yeah. Oh, I still do that. I still grab rebounds. <laughs> not Looking at the playoffs, guys, you guys um, will be the number two seed. Do you guys feel like, hey, we should be the number one seed? Because you guys in uh, Berlin, you know, if, you, you both are, if you're both 17 and 1, according to the tiebreakers, they get the number one seed, even though you guys had a loss, but it wasn't even to a team from New Hampshire. You guys didn't lose to anybody from New Hampshire. Well, you know, they lost to Summersworth. You guys, do you guys care about that at all? Or? No, well, I mean, that's what happens. If uh, th that's how the schedule works out, we're at number two. We still got home games all the way up till we get to if it comes to the our main goal then no, we're gonna a good game against a good team and lose than like just blowouts like this yeah. i mean except, except for the playoffs i mean mm -hmm. you guys want to um get a shot at berlin you want to play Summersworth? Who, who do you want to see in the tournament it does, well, does not matter happens, happens. Yeah. i mean we think we can beat everyone yeah. what's going to be the key i mean obviously you know you got some pretty good teams you know Summersworth, berlin you know, Campbell, you got some other pretty good teams in, uh, in, the, in the Division Three uh, playoffs. What's going to be the key for you guys if you want to bring home a title? Just defense. Yeah. All, all it is is defense. We know we're going to, you know, whoever we have, yeah, we know we're going to put up points, but just it's all about defense right now. Is there any payback on the mind? Do you do you want to do you want to go against Summersworth um, because of, because of last year? I hate to bring up I hate to bring that game up. I know it probably still stings for you guys, but uh, I'd love to play him again. But I mean, if we don't, if we play him, it's all good. If we don't, you know, we'll beat someone else. So that's the uh, the Conant boys basketball team ending the regular season seventeen and one, um, going into the tournament as the number two seed in Division Three. Berlin's the number one seed. They both finished seventeen and one. Um, a blowout victory here over previously fourteen and three um, Hopkinton team. They win it sixty four to thirty one. Um, thanks and congratulations to the players of the game, Dan Sawad, Devin Springfield, and Jake Carlson. Best of luck in the tournament, guys. We'll see you down the road. Thank you. Thank you. For the Nation Notebook, nationnotebook.com, I'm Jeremy Levier.